This video is brought to you by TS4UIT Engineering Boot Camp. So my question is like, uh, uh, from the DevOps engineer you are hiring, so uh, how much percentage they have to be involved with the deployment and how much person do you expect uh, that person to, in to be involved with the uh, setting up the infrastructure? So um, this is a great question. We have a very good um, the process in place. So each of the application, uh, we have the architecture design documents. That document actually uh, tells us very details, like the what type of application will be, what is the possible software stack will be used, the which cloud you are going to use, and what tools and technology will be used. So those kind of things is the architecture design document has laid out the whole details, and these documents actually get approved by the, actually the, the the stakeholder, senior VP director, so the CTO involved. That's um, so it, it helps you and the development team quite a bit. Once this document actually gets approved, now the development team is scrumpting, you'll be part of it, is start the implementation. So the question you ask, the how much the engagement? If you work in an application development from day one, uh, for an eight month or 10 month period, you will be actually working on that project heavily. Means that day, day in, day out, your core responsibility will be of that application in the front and back and all the services. Even um, the, you will be um, the coordinating with the, um, the operation team as well. Operation means DevOps operation. If they have issues, you will not be engaging directly, but you will be actually uh, knowledge transferring to the DevOps who is responsible for the operation side. So that will be the, the whole engagement um, throughout the process. Did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah. I think one part I left, you said the, the designing. So our infra team, uh, we have a, we use the Kubernetes, we use the Ansible, we use the Terraform, and the, we have a lots of Terraform or like the, the process in place. Means that if you want to uh, build a, uh, the 10 VPC, we have a, some type of the Terraform template. If you build the, for the 10 submit with a VPC, we have a different type of Terraform file and the process. And uh, we have a, if you want to build the Kubernetes for the hundreds of the node, we have a different type of the process in place. Because we are completely, everything we do on the cloud, so we have a lot of template in place, and those are actually to follow the, through the GitOps. So on the Git, basically, you will be going over each of this, the process, each of the, the files, what they involve, and then once you get the ADD, and it will actually, it will guide you, um, uh, your solution architect will guide you to follow that template. That template will be, you'll be picking up the template. You'll be designing your application. Good. Okay. So yeah. The inverting very they actually designing the, the all type of templating and uh, they're designing all type of good amount of the files, best practices, and that they drop into the GitHub and you will be getting access permission exclusively when it is applicable to your project. Other than that, they're actually the private to the, or it is only for the infra team and the solution architect and enterprise architect team. Did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank All you. Right. Let's get started.